Okay, so now we'll talk about how to create tank mixes for ISO implements run through ISO task controllers. So you would use this type of tank mix creation for uh, model year 17 and newer ISO sprayers such as uh, the Patriot or the Guardian or for any type of pull type sprayer that's running a, a liquid product control node and you're creating and you're running your section control and prescriptions through task controller. This is what you would do to create your tank mix. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to tap on Isobus and under TC main we've already filled out our grower farm field we've already got a task populated we're going to focus on TC product okay and we will now create a new product so we're going to go into product group select new and let's just call this product group liquid and then we're going to manage product so we're going to create our products that go into our tank mix here so much like with proprietary implements we have to create all of our products first before we actually create the mix so I'm gonna go ahead and create all of my products that are gonna go into my mixture so of course we're going to have water in our tank mix you can call it H2O2 choose our product form I'm going to leave mixture as no select done go to view products you notice now I have a water product that is a liquid form click manage product again and create my next product I'm going to punch in ATZ for atrazine Again, form is going to be liquid. And then manage product again. We'll put in another herbicide. We want to make sure our product forms all match up. So we've created three products. Now we're going to create our tank mix. So again, manage product, product name. Again, you could call this tank, you could call it herbicide. I'm going to call this one pre for pre-emerge. Form is going to be liquid. Mixture, we're going to select yes. Now we have a few more things that we can select. Remember, we created three products, so we'll need to change our number of products to three, and then we'll just simply assign all of our products to this mixture that we created earlier. So our atrazine, our Lumax, and the water. And then notice here we have the ability to put how, what percentage of the mixture is each product. So you could do the math and calculate the percent. What I like to do is actually choose formula. So then I can say for my total mixture amount, so many gallons of that total mixture are going to be each product. So real simple for a 1,000 gallon tank, we will say that 20 gallons of that is going to be atrazine, 20 gallons of it is going to be Lumax, and then the remainder is going to be water and then those product proportions will be tracked appropriately. We'll select done. Notice that all of our products that we created are in our product list as well as the tank mix. And then we'll just simply choose the product of the tank mix that we created to be tracked across the boom. Those three products that we created are tied to this pre-tank mix, so they'll be tracked accordingly. We'll select done, and then you can simply start your task and go spray, and your tank mix will be mapped and tracked accordingly. Okay, so we've created our tank mix, and we've gone to work. 
Now let's say we've sprayed about 100 acres like this, but now we need to actually change our tank mix or change the ratio of products in the tank. So in order to do that, we're going to have to create an entirely new tank mix. So first thing we're going to do is to pause our task. And then we'll go to TC product. Now we're going to have to create an entirely new tank mix. If I were to uh, adjust the products within this tank mix labeled pre, and I were to adjust the amount of uh, each product in that tank mix, not only will that affect all the acres that I spray from here on out, but it will retroactively affect all the acres that I've sprayed prior to. So we actually need to create an entirely new tank mix, even though it's the same products that are gonna be going into it, we're gonna be changing the ratios of products inside that tank mix, so we need to create something entirely new. So what we'll do is we will manage product, we will select new, and we'll just create an entirely new tank mix, and for simplicity, we will just call it pre two. Okay, product form is still going to be liquid, mixture, yes. And we're going to put the exact same products into that mix again, right? So we're still going to have atrazine, Lumax, and water, but we're going to change the amount of product that goes into our mix. So again, I still have a thousand gallons in the tank, and let's say it's the atrazine that we need to change. So rather than 20 gallons, of atrazine in the tank, we're gonna back that down to 10. We're gonna have 20 gallons of Lumax, and then of course the remainder is going to be water. We'll select done. And then now we can just go ahead and select that new tank mix here. So now our new tank mix will be tracked across the boom. So we've done that, we'll select done. And then one more thing that we'll have to do is to create a new task. So if I try to start or if I try to resume the previous task, the display will just revert back to using that previous tank mix that I was using on this task. So we're going, since we made a major change uh, to how task controller is going to be logging data, we will have to create a new task. Once we've done that, we can simply start the task and then we can go back to work.